Welcome to Turok 2 Seeds of Evil. My friends, this is the best game in the Turok franchise. Hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. adjustment there all right so uh we are here with turok 2 seeds of evil uh i don't know if i'm gonna actually be able to play through the entire franchise because i don't think the third one has been released on pc i could try to it. but anyway this is the best one in the entire franchise so this is the one worth playing um we're not gonna play this one on nintendo 64 uh for a similar reason why we weren't gonna play the first one on it anymore uh, I originally was doing a playthrough of the first one on 64, but then uh, they remastered it for the PC. And the reason is, is um, Turok 1 actually had auto-aim, uh, so like when you just fired off certain things, uh, like the direction of an enemy, the game would kind of adjust your aim and place the projectile at that enemy. So that was kind of like, that was that game's way of compensating for the bad Nintendo 64 controller. But unfortunately with... Uh, Turok 2, they took out auto-aim completely and replaced it with uh, a more precise kind of, you know, GoldenEye-esque, uh, not GoldenEye-esque, but just basically like your standard FPS, the bullet goes where your reticle is. So, uh, trying to play this on Nintendo 64 is a royal pain in the ass. So we're just going to make sure that our, our levels are right, we got our music down. And something about this. So it sounds like they've remade the uh, soundtrack as well. But I think I'm, I'm going to stick with the Nintendo 64 one, just at least to keep some semblance of the uh, original. So we're going to go and we're going to start this off. And uh, hope you guys are ready. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to go normal. And here's our intro. of Adia. This once peaceful coastal village has been utterly destroyed by the Dinosaurid army under the Primogen's command. In the hills surrounding the city, the battle wages on as stragglers are hunted down ruthlessly. The Dinosaurids are genetically engineered dinosaur hybrids. They are utterly evil and very dangerous. Though they do the Primogen's bidding, the dinosaurs have a more sinister and personal agenda of their own. To see humankind right from the face of the earth. Your mission objectives are as follows. Activate three distress beacons. Rescue four children. Activate the warp portals. Locate the energy totem and defend it at all costs. And there we go. We're finally in uh, Turok. I'm just checking something real quick. Seems like they changed this up on me. Ew. 
too. Yeah, they botched this up. All right. Well, anyway, used to be able to see uh, who's currently watching, and now I can't anymore. So uh, that's always good. All right. So we're gonna take a quick dive in here, grab some life, uh, life uh, diamonds in this case. They're no longer triangles. They're diamonds. And in this case, we will get a warning from Adon when our health is low, or when our auction is low, rather. Okay. Oh. All right, we got the explosions going. And we also have these uh, mission indicators. Oh, all right. This is different. Normally there's uh, nobody here, so that's new. Hey, thanks for the host, uh, Real Soviet Bear. I appreciate it. Okay, so we're gonna have to get rid of some stuff here. Uh, first of all, we don't do ledge grabbing. Uh, second of all. So we can't get rid of the really stupid stuff. Show hints. There we go. We don't want hints. That's much better. All right. Because in the original, you didn't have fucking hints. And I only want to take this so far into... What the fuck? It's like a bit of invisible wall there. All right. Just going over here for some regular arrows. So what are we starting off with? We start off with a flare gun, which just lights up areas. We've got our talons, which is our melee weapon in case we run out of ammo, and our good old bow. Do that. Now arrows do have, uh, you do need to pull them back if you want to get a like, proper shot off. And this game includes mission objectives, which yay, oh it's fun. So one of our mission objectives is to... Beacon activated. Alright, that's nice. I guess I'll, I'll leave that. So we need to activate these distress beacons by finding batteries and placing them into those little holders. This is our first pistol. We're gonna get that in a moment. A little bit of... dumb jumping. Just like that. Shaboom. Pistol. Okay. Now, a uh, pistol is good for well, pretty much anything, but the way we're going to be going about this is we're going to be trying to use the pistol on the faster enemies, like this asshole. Lots of blood in this one. Um, I would go for the... Oh, yeah, we do get keys, but we don't get that sweet-ass uh, key-grabbing animation that we got from the uh, first game gonna pop out. There he is. There we go. Popping heads. They definitely added a lot more blood. Yes! We can fuck with them. That's, oh, that's some good decal work. So what do we have? We have 37 rounds. Now the other thing is, is we can use... Really? We can use, we can pick up more arrows along the way. Oh, I missed one. Can't have that, can we? So in we crawl. So in this one, these only give 10 health and you, they won't take you above your uh, max health. There we are. Oh, not a headshot. Oh, he is just being a bitch. I think I got it. That was a headshot. 
I have to get go and grab some more. Uh, now, white crosses still give two health. I don't like the new facial uh, one. Can we get rid of that at all? No motion blur, ew. All right, I just don't have the patience to try to figure that out. Here he comes, whoop. Whoop. Like I said, using a bow on those guys is really fucking hard because all they do is just move. So for them, it's easier to just use the pistol. And bow is better used on uh, these dudes, the uh, big green jackasses. I believe our first child is over here. Yes, they are. Flashlight. That's another life diamond. Okay, so there's one of these dudes. Oh, hey! There we go, headshot. So you can get instant kills with the headshot in this version, or in this game rather. There's a dude up there. Now we can't get the kid out until we get up here, so. So these guys are a lot better taken out with the bow and arrow. They don't move as quickly as the, uh, they're not leapers, but they are I don't know what their name is specifically. Oh wow. Shot that all the way over there. Okay, so this is gonna be uh, a fast moving guy. Boom! There's also a lot more, uh, what would you call it? There's gibbing in this one. I don't remember if there was, I don't think there was any gibbing in, no, there wasn't any gibbing in, uh, Turok one. There's plenty of it in this one, and it gets very creative at parts. Just careful, because there is a, a bottomless pit there. Child rescue. Thank you, Turok. God, that's so fucking creepy. There we head back here, and having done, uh, having opened up another door earlier, before we jumped up in here, you would have heard it. Uh, brings, uh, there he is. Oh, you were just being a bitch. Where'd he go? I think he went in here. Oh. There we are. That's for making sure. Where's my arrow? Dude, give me an arrow. Give me the... Oh, you are such a jerk. Is it this one? Wait, maybe you can jump. Oh shit! Mind yourself to not waste arrows on those guys. Got him. We're not coming back this way, so we're gonna grab the uh, bullets. Now we're at the area that we saw at the start. And I can see his head just there. Nailed it. <laughs> Headshot. Oh shit! Got him. Now over here are the, is the first appearance of this game's really just frustrating enemies. Copy sores! Oh, 
Oh man, I did not know you could actually outmaneuver them. This thing scared the fuck out of me. But we need to come over here, hit this, uh, this lever, which opens up this gate here. Give me that arrow. No? All oh, right, we're full on arrows. Okay. Oops. Graphical changes they made are actually pretty awful. Oh crap, more. Wait. Oh, okay, so this is, uh. These are raptors, and they make the weird, weirdest noise. I blew his fucking head off. Alright. I thought that was another, uh. Got him. Alright. Raptor Dan. Again, you can get, uh, I don't think pistol does, uh, instant kill on most enemies, but bow and arrow usually does. But it's really just about, uh, trying to figure out which weapon to use and which... Whoa! Hey, no. There we go. Good old head pop. Low on ammo. Ultra health. Ooh, game over here for the nice ultra health. I think my favorite level of this is uh, River of Souls, level 2. Oh, okay, you can get a one hit kill. corner jump to get that. It would be help if I actually knew how to land. There we go. Alright, well we did it. We didn't need to do that. Okie dokie. Blow that up. That gives us a blue cross in case we need it. The real challenge is nailing that headshot on these guys. Got bullet ammo again. And it looks like we've got a quiver in case we run low on arrows. There we go. Wasn't a headshot, but we killed him. I'll take it. Okay, so we're gonna jump over here. Head up here. Okay, so this is the next uh, power cell repository. But we're missing a uh, power cell to go for. Headshot. Go grab a power diamond. Now you can kill the seagulls. That's a shotgun. You heard me. Shot Hi. Nope. Nope. See ya. And this one, they let you switch. Which? Hey, there it is. Power cell. Let's take this back. Distress beacon activated. Two of three done. There's some arrows down there, just in case. Uh, oh, let's find out what the switch uh, ammo button is real quick. Bindings. Change ammo type is R and game. Okay, so R switches. All right. Good to know. Good to know. We will need that. Exploding headshot, uh, second try. Oh. Where 
is he? Oh, there he is. I see him. Yeah! Sniping headshot, baby. That's good shit. Alright, last power cell. We gotta figure out where that one is. Now, I believe the area we're supposed to shoot the seagulls is... That's weird. They definitely added some extra stuff to... They added some stuff in so you know that you're shooting stuff that should be shot. But you could shoot these seagulls. And that does come into play as a secret layer. If I remember correctly. And it's a larger area. This is not the area where you get the uh, secret. Okay. That's there. Oh, fuck me. Okay. Oh, it looks like, um... Oh, we got our power cell. We completed the, t the objective. Let's do this shit. Distress beacon activated. All right. Okay, whoop, hey now, hey now. Did I get it? Oh, I didn't get it. Ah, oh, I was so close. Okay. There he goes. All right, got that guy on the first shot. My arrow. It's up there. Okay, we gotta jump over to get it, which means corner jump. There's somebody nearby shooting at me. So where is they? Up here? Oh shit! Oh, you little bastard! Let's see if we can't uh, make use of these talons on this guy. Where are you going? Running away? That's right, you run away. Now you come back? Yeah, fuck off. Oop, that was a bad shot. Trying to, uh, I was trying to see if I could do a uh, decap attack with this. Sometimes if you do it right, you can. But I failed miserably at that. We did hit that. This exploded, but there's nothing there. All right. I think we've cleared this area out. Hey, Funke, how you doing? Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. Seagulls are the true dinosaurs. Sorry, kids. So we don't have to do any more uh, stress beacons. But we do have a couple of kids to go. You mean that the dinosaurs weren't like uh, bipedal, huge, muscly dudes? Oh, okay, he survived. Two arrows to the face, that works for me. Checkpoint station. So checkpoints in Turok serve a couple of purposes. Greetings, Turok. How may I assist you? So here, uh, we get a checkpoint. So if we die, we come back here. We also can, uh, basically, we usually save around here. Uh, the other thing is, is we can get ammo refilled once, health refilled once, and apparently quick work, which I guess allows us to go back to uh, previous levels. That's just what I'm guessing. I haven't played this uh, 
Oh shit. I haven't played this remake. Uh, this is the first time I'm actually playing the remake of this. So, some of the stuff will be new to me. Oh, hey! Fucking. Take a break, dick! You too. Landing headshots is easily the most, uh... The most satisfying thing in this game. I am Turok! We are Turok. That is established. Established canon. That bridge. Oh, it's back this way, right? Birds are a select group of theropods. Good to know. Oh, right, we actually have to drop down. That's why. Alright. As I'm remembering very, very vaguely on these things. Gotta drop down. Oh shit. Oh shit. Thought I was gonna nail that one. Oh good, they're fighting. Good. Excellent. Turok, get on the box. Really? Oh, I can't stand on the box. That's stupid. Oh, shit. There's a lot of uh, tracking going on there. Oh, shit. I thought I hit a headshot while he was jumping. I was really proud. Shot off his arm. Okay, there's our, our next kid. Come on, get up. Owie. So you can take some damage. We're not going through that yet. We gotta go through here. This is where the fun starts. That's all we really came here for. There we go. What a dick. Level two key. Uh, let's see. Inventory. We've got first two keys. There's we're gonna get all level two keys and all level three keys in this. Now you're noticing some extra uh, stuff. I'm not gonna explain that just yet. We're gonna get to that. So now we're back here, and this door opens. Headshotted and blew his head off. Very nice. I hear people shooting guns. Okay, so I think this is where the uh, seagull secret is. Clear. All right. Damn it. They are tricky to shoot. I 
I'm also a terrible aim, so that doesn't help. Maybe we're just too far away. But I'm 100% sure this is the seagull secret area. And Funke has just posted a link to some bird information. Thank you, Funke. There's a, the, uh, nice little key hiding behind there. We're gonna take our time, get that nice sweet headshot. There's our first level 3 key. More explosive shells. Good, good. Should be able to hit them. Here. They have a circular pattern, so he should be swinging back around. Nope, just a bit too low. Do I? Come on, stupid bird. There we go. Right about there is where it should be going. Nope, right there. Come on, you. No, all right. So that maybe we'll get this one. There we go. Right about there should be the shot. Up a bit, maybe. Nope, shot too soon. Where we should be able to hit this guy. Oh, maybe if I aim right up here, because that's where it's got the most. Nope. Maybe I can't hit this one, I'm not sure. There we go! I could have sworn there was a secret for shooting all of them in this area. Maybe there's a couple I'm missing. In any case, you can shoot the seagulls. Spend a lot of time uh, showing you off that fantastic uh, Easter egg. Well worth it. Well worth it. So they added a bunch of cool stuff to this game, along with uh, Ultra Hell. super di difficult secrets to find right there. We are in fact Turok, just in case you guys forgot. You can't land on those things, you fall through them. That's something important to know. So now that we've done all of that in this area, A warp portal. Now this is something that's not properly explained in the game. This is a talisman chamber, a holy place that evil cannot enter. Activating the warp portals opens gateways to these ancient sanctuaries. Your quest will require you to locate five sacred talismans. I was wrong. The I talismans will grant you immunity from certain types of danger and allow you access to new areas that must be explored. The spirits that watch over these chambers will require an offering of a mystical eagle feather before a talisman can be secured. There are five talismans and five eagle feathers that must be found as your quest unfolds. Is he wearing like jodhpurs over denim pants? Alright, so it does kind of explain the purpose of it, but it doesn't explain how you're supposed to do this. So in certain levels, you're going to... Oh, wow, okay, that does damage you. Fantastic. You're going to find uh, feathers. So this is, I believe, the red feather, which is found in level 4. And once we find that, we come back and we use the red feather to access different areas. Oh, the nice thing about this particular spot is it always dumps you right in front of this asshole. There we go. Nailed it. 
That was a pretty good headshot. Yeah, wow, the enemies track really heavy on this. So now we're up above that area we were at before. I don't see any more seagulls. And now, tech bow. We do need to go that way, but first. Go over this way real quick. Oh, eight. Oh, okay, good. So the tech bow replaced with the old bow, and we switch between regular arrows and tech arrows. I'm trying to remember the exact way I'm supposed to go. Oh, check up here real quick. What our luck? More life diamonds. I think this is actually the, uh... Very not good at this. Like, super not good at this. Alright, fuck that guy. So in any case, this is where you'd first use a... This, this spot right there is where you'd use a talisman. This is really not where we want to be. Got our full tech arrows. Good. So we're going to come back to the area later, which I believe we need to come back to for a specific item. Somebody died. Fuck you. Okay, so we found another checkpoint station. Greetings, Turok. How may I assist you? So it looks like they took out the save point, the save uh, function of this one. Because when you would go into those, you would save that to your uh, memory card. Yeah! Nailed it! Yeah! Double headshot, baby! Alright. That's the good shit. So we still have the regular bow. I don't know why they would let us keep the regular bow, not just give us the uh, tech bow instead. But... Oh, that hurt. That sound you might have just heard that. <laughs> That's actually a uh, item that will replenish. So there are areas where health uh, pickups and ammo pickups will uh, respawn. And uh, that's kind of key to beating this game. At least for me, I'm terrible at it. So you see how we picked up those uh, arrows? Well now, shotgun shells. See if we can get it to respawn while we'll oh, walk back into the uh, portal. Good speed. And he's back. My arrow's back. Jerk. Alright, yeah, so now we got regular arrows. So, you definitely want to make the most use of uh, respawn points. And you will see me uh, cheese them a lot. Maybe it's here that we need to do the seagull shooting. I think we'll, do, we'll give this spot a shot and see if these are the seagulls we need to kill. There is a secret in one of these areas. Maybe it's a cheat code that we get. Damn it! It sucks because you can't really do it. You, you're not going to really do much by trying to track them because they'll always be ahead of you. And I think there's just a small projectile that goes out. Okay. So being that far away isn't helpful. Where did 
charges. And... All right, right about there is where I think I'll get my best shot. Or I would if I didn't suck at shooting. Okay. Oh, bullshit. About there. That's where he goes. I think I'm just like shooting too early, too late, or it's going through them. Hit boxes on the seagulls are a little wonky. There we go. Seagull down. Dumb seagull. This one does not want to go. There we go. Yeah, I think this is the special area. If we kill all these seagulls, we should get something. Something should happen. I forget what it is, though. I might even be remembering incorrectly. That's half the fun. Okay. Ah! Is that all of them? I got them all. I got them all. Was this not the area? Or was, am I just like misremembering? Them? I'll have to look that up later. All right, no more seagull shooting. That was supposed to open something. Oh, there it is. That's how they transition you to a new area. Oh, we've got plenty of arrows we can pick up if we run out of them. Anybody around? Doesn't look. That's where we need to go. Hello, what's this? Gold light nearby. Is that from? Yeah, that's the fire badly illuminating the inside of there with like a neon yellow glow. So we open this up. I hear the footsteps of a big dude. Or not, it's a uh, smaller dude. Here, give me my arrow. My other arrow. Lost my other arrow. Good. More explosions. Foxo shells. Shell hungry. I forget if we get a uh, pickup that allows us uh, more ammo. I should hope that we do. We're gonna grab these explosive shells. Step in here real quick. Oh, good. Quick heals and a switch. This game is just switch happy. There's switches everywhere, and they do all kinds of switch things. Except play Mario Odyssey. Hey! I'm blowing up shit and making terrible puns. Fuck off. Yeah! Couple of pistol clips. Oh yeah, we need pistol clips. Holy shit. That's right, I wasted them all on fucking shooting at the uh, seagulls. Shot one in the head, one in the ass. I swear I'm missing a kid. How are we on our objectives? Mission status, two of four children. Can't beat the level until we've done all the mission objectives. That's the... Look up here real quick. So there's a... Oh, hey, how you doing? So those are the new tech arrows. Whoop. So these guys, oh shit. So, um, 
the heavy the heavy trooper dinosaurs will actually uh, self destruct like the uh, mantids did in uh, Turok One. If you shoot them enough times and don't, if you don't do fatal damage, but you do like mortal damage, then they will activate that. Usually if you're using some kind of explosive. Now the thing to note about uh, the boat is that it never goes uh, perfectly straight. It always arcs. Too high. Come on, give me my arrow. Whatever. He's kind of a dick sometimes. I think it's rendering the arrow, but the arrow's not there to pick up. That's the issue. I am Turok! I am indeed Turok. Alright, here's another kid. Go shotgun. Ah. There we are. Take some shells. Hear his him plotting. So once we hit that point, then that falls down. But those two don't. That's gonna happen later. There we go. Oh, nope. There we are. We misgaged. So now we get that one down. That's not gonna... Oh. Something happened. So let's head back this way. There we go. So now we have access to the kid's cage, but he's not... It's not safe just yet. Or she. They. They're, they're not safe yet. It is important that Turok saves the Lost Lands and drives his children. Flop. Flop's like a jerk. Child rescue. I mean, your cage was open, you dick. You could have run, run out on your own. You don't need me to, like, run into you. A little too Michael Jackson ass. But anyway. So we saved our third child. We've got one more to go. Shut up, jerk. All right. So now having done that, we are in need of figuring out our next step, which would be through here, I believe. So there's a couple things we're gonna do here. That opens this door back here. So let's go to that real quick. There we go. So there's a there's a very difficult trick you can do to try to take them out. And that is, if you can line it up just right, there's a split second, and I think you saw that, where before they jump, their head aligns perfectly. So if you can get your shot off in that moment, you're gold. Oh, he killed himself. Very nice. I don't know if I'm supposed to go this way just yet. Because we can't open this. Ah, okay, we are supposed to go that other way. All that gave us was a raptor and some tech arrows. Alright. Fair enough. Good news, everyone, is that we have plenty of ammo. Oh shit, what am I stuck on? Ah, 
Hi. What? All right, we already opened that. Oh, whoa, I walked into that. There we go. I believe that brings us back to... Oh no, we weren't in here yet. So there's a door we need to open. Another door up here. That's an archway area, so that's open. Ah, it's fucking bad geometry that they didn't fix. That opens this door. Alright, whatever. He, he's dead. That's fine. We're good. One more kid. And, uh, where's, what is our key situation? We're missing a, a level 2 key. Where's the other level 2 key? over here. Hey! That's cheating. Or not. Alright, good. Glad we came up here for some shells and bullets. Good. Excellent. Kill him. Oh, okay, they're fighting. Good. You two fucking duke it out. I'm gonna go over here. Mess around. There we are. I did a thing, but I'm not sure what. Oh, oh shit! Alright, so we got access to here. That gives us this. Ah! The jerk. So that, uh. That did not reset. That did a thing. What was the thing that we just did? We didn't open that. that. Oh, we did this. Okay, so this is where this comes in handy. Not very handy. Quite pitiful, actually. Which is funny because the flare gun makes a reappearance in uh, Turok 3 Rage Wars and is actually one of the better weapons you can get if you can upgrade it. Hey, there's our key. That our... That's the other level 2 key. Alright, fantastic. We did it. All level 2 keys have been gotten. Now, enemies will only respawn when you return to an area. So we can just run around this area and never see another enemy, uh, which is nice. It's a nice uh, change of pace from Turok. So we've got all our, oh, hey. Oh, good. This is a respawn spot. Set of the dick. Got him. That's 
think that's gonna be more shotgun shells because I don't think that's all I'm out of. Yes. And yes. Alright, cool. We're full up. Let's move on. Okay, it is 100% possible to strafe kill that guy using just the Talon. Excellent. Another checkpoint. I think they're being more uh, generous with the checkpoints. Greetings, Turok. How may I assist you? Alright, so we're fine for now. I remember this area. Come on. There we are. I guess those are tech arrows, because they're not picking up, and I do need more regular arrows. Watch that guy. Oh. Yeah, so this area kind of sucks, because it it's one uh, full... That is a uh, bottomless pit. And that is a guy who just was. There we go. Died. Did not want to go. Luckily, this thing has a pretty close, close to rapid fire thing it got. And there he goes. So you can actually switch uh, which arrow you're using even while you've got the arrow drawn, which is a super nice uh, feature. Whoop. Get out of here, nerd. So pressing two lets us switch between the two bow types. All right, so we got another section of this bullshit. Okay. So far, so good. Kill these guys because they're gonna. Uh, never mind. I do want to try to kill them just because they're gonna make my life miserable if I don't. Maybe we can get past. There we go. Ultra health. Wow, that sailed right between his fucking legs. That's beautiful. That is special. Oh, hey. Right, so this is the dude I peppered earlier. Take all my arrows. A few of them. There's no way to get my arrows back from that guy. Cut our losses. So now we've come full circle. Nope, over his head. There we go. Whoa, hey. I just cannot gauge whether or not my shot is going to be a headshot. Like, if it's going to go the full distance or if it's going to just arc down a bit. Oh. 
Switch to our pistol now. Kind of running low on a. Uh, okay, so that's where I want to go next. Got the kill shot with the jump. Yeah! Holy shit, that was a really awesome headshot. Okay, I'm stuck. Okay, shooting him with the pistol is the dumbest idea. Because they're super fast and hard to hit. Ah! Damn it! Being an asshole. So we do want it. This is the ending area. So we're gonna go back. We're not going this way just yet. Just a little bit more to do in this level. Just a little. We did that already. Okay, so we're gonna come to that in a moment, and I'll explain what's gonna happen with that. Because we've already done our, our warp for us. Coming up to a, what I think is the coolest part of the main game. The second level is really awesome. What is easily the most awesome moment in the game is coming up very shortly. Courtesy to fucking die when I shoot you. Shotgun. And indeed. I am Tura. We're looking for a couple of things here. Not you. You either. That's pistol round, clips, bullets, whatever you want to call it. Fuck you. Fuck you. That's another level three key down. Okay. So I think we've cleared this area. Let's check our inventory. We have one key to, to go. And we'll have finished the first part of this, the main part of this route. Whoop, hey, who did that? Oh, hey! What a jerk. 
Alright, I think I hit all of the uh, switches. Nope, there's one. Oh. Boom! Beautiful. There's four switches, I believe. Did I hit this one? Yeah, okay, we hit this one. That's one, two... Three. Hey, more shotgun shells. Oh, maybe we gotta go up higher. Alright, let's do that. Oh, good. Yeah, we did it. Sweet. All right. Moving on. I believe the exit is through that way. So we're going to go this way. Knock this nerd out of the way. And this is the this is what I came here for. The, uh... Portal activated. All right, this is awesome. This human powers beyond the comprehension of flesh. Have you set in motion? The must not be stopped. The totems must fall. The balance must falter. Chaos must commence. We are the darkness. We are the unseen. We Yeah. The, the, the introduction of Oblivion is the, easily the best part of this game. So there's a second enemy we have to fight in this called Oblivion. They do come back in Turok 3 Shadows of Oblivion, but it's really shit. In this, they are fucking terrifying. I hear a couple of uh, respawn spots. So we, we get... Oh! Don't get that. Now we gotta fight these enemies. Oh. Ah. Oh. Okay, it's time to switch to the good shit. That's what we're really saving all of our ammo for, these motherfuckers. There's our respawn item spot. I think it's, uh, it's set on a timer. There it is. I think it's like every 10 seconds a new item spawn. Everything is really good at tracking you in this. 
which I thought was kind of annoying. Anything else? Okay, and then we're gonna be fully stocked after this pickup. There we go. And then we're gonna pick up this Let's game's go. main weapon. So in the last game, we've tried to find the Chronoceptor. Turok, a strange presence fills this evil place. I do not understand its source, but it is somehow familiar to me. You must take care when entering the warp portals. Whatever this new threat is, it seems that false portals have been erected to lure you into a trap. Thanks for the foresight there, Adon. So now, instead of trying to assemble the, the uh, Chronoceptor, we are trying to assemble the Nuke. That is our ch top weapon. Uh, and there are... Five Nuke pieces to find. Piece of shit. Oh yeah, that was a lucky headshot. Stopped just at his face. So all we're missing is the last level 3 key. And we have completed level 1. Oh wait, we're missing a kid too, aren't we? Yeah, we are. Son of a bitch. Okay, so th that's the, this is the big problem with this game, is it's so huge. Hey, wait a minute. Did I drop down from there? I think I did. Okay, this is an area we didn't go into before. Oh, never mind. Thought we found something new. Did not. All right. Let's, let's run through that last portal and just make sure. I may end up having to look up some of this stuff because they really hit some of it well. Okay, so this is that area. So the key is going to be looking for uh, secrets. What 
Hey. Who's shooting me? And from where? I'm hearing it from... Okay, so it's coming from there. It's up there, I think? It's at, like, a really fucky angle? I don't see him anywhere. They're not going to be too far back, that's the thing. So we just got to figure out how far back did we have to go. Okay, there he is. Now the funny thing is, is on the map, uh, you are always, uh, your arrow tip is right in the dead center of your uh, reticle. So you can actually use the arrow on your map as an aiming device, which is super great. Definitely is needed. That is weird. There's like a thing over here. But I can't get in, so... I wonder if it just means that up there. So we have determined. Whew, that was a bad, bad, bad idea, but it worked out. We determined this area is clean of secrets for the most part. We kill the last couple of enemies that were near by. So we're gonna climb back up. More seagulls. is where we came from, so we don't want to go back down that way. And there's nothing in there because it's fully enclosed. Okay, so those were just the alcoves. That's what those white squares So we did all that just to get up here. Which drops us off here. Bam. I almost feel like this is supposed to go up. Now this way will lead back. Oh, we're full up on, uh, okay, yeah, so we're full up on triangle. So doing this only just gave us a shortcut. And that was an oblivion portal. All right, we'll go through the portal, and if it turns out that we missed a kid, because you should be able to complete all the mission objectives in one go. You're not gonna need, uh, access to the other stuff like the feathers and shit just to beat the level Gotta be something that opens. Could be a million different things. We hit those two switches. So maybe by hitting those two switches, I open something up this way that I missed. Jump back up here. Now this led back to the Oblivion portal. It's 
nothing behind it. Nothing extra down there. And there won't be anything else up there. So let's jump through the portal. Mission failed. That's stupid. That is very annoying. All right, real quick. This is this game's biggest flaw. Is there's so much of it that it's so easy to fuck it up. So we just need to find that kid. Oh, okay, I was correct earlier to a degree. I just wasn't paying attention. <coughs> and they make you go all the way back to the start, which is super dumb. <coughs> so you cannot complete a level until you've gotten and done the entire, all the missions. so good you get to see the level twice. Okay, so that was our first key. Alright, so when we killed all the birds that made this door open. Right, okay, so that's so we found the secret already. So by killing all the birds, this door opened and we got that uh, that's key one. Okay, so we did that one, I think. I'm just double checking which uh, child we're on.
Okay, that's the one we missed. Okay, so we can't get the third, the final key just yet. But we can rescue that last child. So I was correct that you do need to, uh... So the, the third key, the uh, next key is actually out over there. Uh, where that leap of faith is. I'm sorry, I'm trying to figure out where the hell it's saying I'm supposed to go. Also, I believe I'm... Yep, there we go. There's the, uh, this has a, has a sniper view. Some exploding shells. I'm just trying to figure out where I am expected to go for this secret. Let's rescue this kid. This is a terrible walkthrough. Hold on. God, it feels so stupid not knowing how to do this moment without this. Because this is this is the key. That's the level, that's the primogen key, isn't it? Yeah, it's a primogen key. We can't get the primogen key. Yeah, we can't get the Prime Engine key until we get the... something about one of the houses. Maybe this one?
direction, like, it's so difficult without having a visual guide to tell me what's happening. The switch here, some crates. the war portal so now I know exactly where we are in terms of this let's see upper area Okay, so that was the... Alcove with a switch. Oh, okay, so that alcove opened up that waterfall? I could've sworn I got that when I was already down there. Um, so we're gonna head through here. Because this is where we first found the tech bow. So we're in here. Tech bow. Sure, Micro capability enabled. Terrible sniper. Wait a minute. There it is. Fuck me. This is what we were looking for, folks. Trying to get the shotgun. Shotgun. There we go. Ah, oh, God, it's such a pain in the butt. Whoa, hi. Oh, okay, whoops. That was awful. And Eight the audio lives okay. remaining. Okay, so we don't really lose anything other than a life. So let's try that shit again. <gasps> Forgot this area has these stupid, uh, Bottomless pits. I am really fucking bad with this shotgun. And it's not like it has a spread, it's basically just like a couple pellets going straight out. Child rescue. So we got the kid. Where we're missing a level three key because that's the primogen key and we need a level three key to finish this off Yeah, it's, the problem is, is these uh, walkthroughs, there's no, uh, you need like a visual walkthrough for this game. Uh,
At least for the uh, key cards. The keys are really hard to find. All right, well, that's not really that big of an issue. We'll figure it out. Let's move on. We've completed, we're gonna beat this level. And then when I've got some time off stream, we're gonna figure it out. Absolutely nothing is more boring than somebody futzing around trying to figure out where the hell they're supposed to go. Yeah, this was a thing that I really think they should have at least tried to fix up in the remake was putting, trying to make it so that these, uh, finding these mission objectives and keys wasn't as obtuse. Because it is super obtuse, eh? Was the that was the last kid I can't for the life of me figure out where that last third key is level three key is. fuck you gave us extra stuff. So doing this didn't do anything for us, really. It opened up. There we go. Good old headshot. did fuck all in terms of that. So, go back through here. So this is the shortcut through. Got one of our lives back. Make our way back to the end. We're gonna go through the portal. We're gonna beat this level, and then we're gonna take a, a good long look at where that goddamn uh, last level three key is. Hopefully, we'll find a guide that doesn't suck. Oh. Oh. Shotgun. Shotgun. Indeed. I feel like it should be around here. I really don't need to do that. I should probably just stop fucking around it. Get on to it. So here it is. Save the totem, Turok. So 
That was really just all about popping these nerds. Mission accomplished. There we go. And then that completes that mission. We're still going to go back and check on that. Greetings, Turok. How may I assist you? Eventually we will have to... Uh, granted. Let's see, I think that's supposed to give us more... Health granted. ...of each. It doesn't. Okay, fantastic. Level two. And this is level one. All right, well, I think we're gonna call it there. So that's your introduction to Turok 2. It is a great game, but with a few glaring flaws. And uh, we will definitely be running back into level one to try to grab that. Uh... Oh, okay, this is level three. We just need one more level three key to get in there. But uh, we'll be heading into level, we'll be heading back into level one and then back into level two on uh, the next one. So uh, stay tuned, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed.